Assalamu alaikum. Mr. Moderator, our distinguished guests, brothers and sisters, our friends and, and our enemies. Bismillah, wa salatu wa salam, wa rasulullah, wa bat. So, this channel, you know, I deal with a lot of controversial stuff, so I got a lot of haters, you know. I got, like, people trolling me and people just subscribing to my channel to dis dislike my videos and all kind of stuff, you know. So, I got a lot of hate, you know, a lot of hate, you know. And I get a lot of, um, even on my social media, threats and, you know, I literally got, had somebody threaten uh, me with my address, my own home address and phone number on my email. So all of that doesn't phase me. I've never, ever, not once, not once have I ever been phased or shook by anybody's thoughts or responses uh, to me. So, but that all changed yesterday with Nasser al response to me. I was literally so shook, and this is true. I like I could barely sleep. I was I had to talk to a lot of the duat that I know, the, uh, some of the older brothers that I know, because I did not know what to do about this. The Black Lives Matter video was ridiculous. It was just stupid. It was dumb. It was inconsiderate. But the video that he did after that was a hundred times worse. And I'll get to that in a minute. So let me put this in context for you. You guys might recall last week that President Donald Trump, he has some words to say about the protesters. But in recent days, our nation has been gripped by professional anarchists, Violent mobs, arsonists, looters, criminals, rioters, Antifa, and others. And you might recall that this particular speech and this particular part, part of the speech was not well received. So I want to ask you guys a question. Which is worse, what Donald Trump said or this? So if you said that the message from Nasser Hanbali was worse than Donald Trump's, you would be right. So I want you to think for a second, somebody going to a non-Muslim saying what Nasser Hanbali said to a non-Muslim black person to their face in this environment and think what would happen. So I went after Nasser Hanbali because he's actually literally putting people in danger with this nonsense. And I told him in a straight, clear, concise manner that, number one, you're not black. I know you're not black because of the way that you're talking, right? It's very rude, condescending, insensitive. Number two, uh, Black Lives Matter is not even organizing these protests to begin with. And number three, saying that Black Lives Matter is joining the enemies of Islam, that's a fatwa. That's a fatwa. So I want to know where you got that fatwa from. I also mentioned very clearly that Nasser Hanbali, when he does his refutations, he takes general fatwa from the ulama and he applies them to specific situations. Like with uh, Sheikh Muqtil Rahimullah died 20 years ago. Okay, by 2001, and he used the fatwa of Sheikh Mukbil, Rahimahullah, to apply it to this specific group, Black Lives Matter. He didn't call Donald Trump the enemy of, the, of Allah. He didn't call uh, any white supremacist the enemies of Allah. He didn't call uh, the Zionist uh, power structure the enemies of Allah 
Who did he call the enemies of Allah? Black Lives Matter. So then after that, I put that video up. Him under an alias, mind you, and I did not know it was an alias until one of my subscribers pointed that out. And many of his uh, followers came to watch the video, dislike it, left so many con comments on it because what I told them, right? Not, they didn't deal with the content of my refutation of him at all. They did not deal with the fact that he was rude and condescending. They did not deal with the fact that somebody could actually get hurt for repeating that nonsense. They did not deal with the fact that he made a fatwa. He made a fatwa, right? The only thing that they did was come in and say, you jahil, you this, you that, you, all this kind of stuff. The battle of whatever. So instead of even tweaking, deleting, coming up with a different video, whatever, something with more sympathy and empathy for the black community, he comes out and puts a video that's a hundred times worse. So basically after, you know, him and his followers came in, you know, essentially uh, gave me headaches all day yesterday, Nasser humbly decides that he wants to put out two videos in response to my video, okay? So one of the videos he puts out was uh, the ruling on protest being haram or something like that. And I didn't say anything about protests being, being haram, right? I am with that, actually. That's my opinion. It's been my opinion even before I knew what Salafia was. I've never believed in protest in my entire life. You know, I always believed from the times of, I was Malcolm X, because Malcolm X never uh, believed in protest. I believed that protests were just a waste of time from those times. So he's just uh, gaslighting, so whatever. I don't really care about that. It's this one right here. This one right here from Sheikh Uthaymi. Now, first, look at the title. Any kind of disbeliever is an enemy of Allah, his book, his messenger, and all the believers. And I'm going to play the thing in full. <laughs> وقال تعالى ولا يطعون موطئا يريد الكفار ولا ينالون من عدو نيلا الا كتب لهم به عمل صالح ان الله لا يضيع اجر المحسنين فالكافر ايا كان سواء كان من النصارى او من اليهود او من الملحدين وسواء تسمى بالاسلام ام لم يتسمى بالاسلام الكافر عدو لله ولكتابه ولرسوله so not only did uh, Nasser humbly give this rude, condescending video without mentioning any white supremacist, without mentioning any politician as an enemy of Allah, he mentions the Black Lives Matter as the enemies of Allah. Not only does he do that, he couldn't just, you know, change his video. No, he has to double down because I called him out on it and put Sheikh Uthaymeen's uh, tafsir of the Quran and titles it, any kind of disbeliever is an enemy of Allah, his book, his messenger, and all the believers. When I saw that, that shook me. Just the title, just the title. Most of you don't know because you're young that during 9-11, this type of uh, methodology, this type of speech was being promoted all over the Arab world by Osama bin Laden. And from that time, Every single Muslim organization has been under surveillance. I came to tell this brother, take down, you know, that speech. You're going to get somebody hurt. You're going to get somebody hurt. You will get somebody hurt if somebody repeats that. What you said. Yes, that will happen. 
instead of changing it, modifying it, he comes with something worse, way worse. Let me tell you guys something, okay? There's not a single one of us, uh, uh, people who have uh, studied overseas, not a one who has not been monitored by the government. I myself am on the no-fly list. Yes, I myself am on the no-fly list for much less than this. Every single uh, Islamic website, all of them, without exception, Islamic YouTube channel, Masjid, every last one of them is being monitored. And what makes this even worse is that I found out yesterday that uh, this brother is affiliated with some uh, popular uh, Salafi websites. I had no clue. I had no clue. And some of these brothers are black. And these some of these brothers are people I actually watch and respect. And they're seeing all of this going on. And they can't advise, you can't advise your, they can't advise this guy? Like straight up. Like, why am I advising this guy for you? You see what he's doing on his channel. That's your job, not mine. You 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 give this a pass? You pass on? You give this a pass? What he's saying about Black Lives Matter? What he's saying? You're okay with that. You're okay with him spreading that. So the whole point of him doing this is just to save him his own reputation. That's it. So he tries to... Uh, uh, come out of one hole by digging, digging an even bigger hole. How are you going to take this back? And so many Muslims are spreading this. How? How are you going to do that? Furthermore, remember what I said about him using a general fatwa of an alim and, and making a general fatwa on specific situations. He did it again. He did it again. So let's say, for example, we're going to use, uh, what you call it, uh, Nasr Hanbali's, his fikr, okay, his understanding of what the sheikh is saying, right? Uh, all the disbelievers are the enemies of Allah, therefore, Black Lives Matter is, are the enemies of Allah, right? That's what he's saying, right? Right? So we should not go out and protest because we'll be under the banner of the enemies of Allah. So I ask you guys, that's his fatwa, okay? That's his reasoning. And I'll show you how ridiculous this is. You guys are living in the United States, Canada, whatever, right? When you go to work, when you go to your job, the majority of you are working for non-Muslims. Therefore, you are working for the enemies of Allah, right? You are providing the enemies of Allah financial stability with your work, right? When you buy your food from a grocery mart, you are supporting the enemies of Allah financially. And if you're not saying that, Nasser, then what exactly are you saying? Because that's your understanding. You, especially you brothers from those uh, Salafi websites, you guys know the difference between Am wa khas. You know the difference between general and specific. You guys know. You guys learned that you cannot take a general fatwa and apply it to specific situations. You know this. You see this guy doing this in every single refutation he does all the time. All the time. And you won't say anything because he's your boy? On top of this, some of you are black. Don't you have any shame? Any haya? For yourself, for your people, in front of Allah? Let this guy say, just say anything all willy-nilly? Would you go to your mom and tell her, Ya Ummi, you are the enemy of Allah and you're running around with, with sodomites in these protests, so I cannot support you. Would you say that? Talk to your boy, man. Why am I doing this for you? And those of you who are older, especially the older black brothers who have converted, you know for a fact that the government is especially interested in black converts. They monitor them like crazy. Me and myself had my picture running around uh, several massages in Toronto. 
with the uh, CSIS asking about me. Sufi is in the in the Tajrat Jamaat Tablik coming in to tell me CSIS is asking about you in the masjid. Yes, that's real. That is really real. And you let this slide. You let this slide for 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 uh, your boy. And you know, you know that the people they don't know the difference between khas and wal'am. You know that. You know the harm that this will cause, and you're just like, like, what are you guys doing, man? What are you, like, seriously? If you don't believe me, look up Mubin Sheikh. Look him up on the internet right now. How he used to set people up. Look up what up what happened to um, Said Raga. Said Raga was prevented from making Dao for saying much less than that. You don't think that the government monitors you? And how can you guys let that slide? Like, what is wrong with you guys? You let the you let them slide about uh, the Black Lives Matter, right? Shouldn't be speaking about it, period. And you let this slide too? Fear Allah concerning the awam, ya khwan. Fear Allah concerning the awam. And the only reason why uh, Nasser Hanbali will apply a general fatwa, okay, specifically to Black Lives Matter. He takes a general, only applies to the Black Lives Matter, not to Donald Trump, not to uh, uh, white supremacy, nothing. It's because he inherently has an issue with anybody talking about black issues. And if you don't believe me, look at his reputation of Shadid Muhammad. Look at that. He has a problem with black people dealing with their own issues. And you brothers from that those specific Salafi websites, you're watching him like, ain't nothing going on. Wallahi aib. Wallahi aib. It's shameful. You know the issues that are happening in your communities and you're letting this guy speak for you. Like what? How does that happen in life? And I have to come and do your job for you? So in this hadith, uh, it's about uh, Waraka bin uh, Nawfal when the Prophet Sallallahu he first received revelation so you can read it on your time but basically what I want to get to is Waraka bin Nawfal he asked the Prophet Sallallahu when the Prophet Sallallahu saw Jibreel he asked him what did you see when he told him Waraka said that is the same angel who came to uh, um, Moses should I live to you till you receive the divine message? I will support you strongly. So why did I mention this hadith? It's very simple, actually. These guys that came on my channel questioning my sincerity. Oh, you don't have a class. Oh, you just want to be seen. Oh, you're just doing this for views. All this, all this kind of stuff. I did this strictly for the safety of the Muslims. That's it. And then this guy doubles down and puts the Muslims even more danger. So you think I'm not sincere, right? You think I'm doing this for views? No problem. I'm ready to delete my videos. Now, actually, under one condition. Nasser humbly, since you're doing all these fatawa against, you know, my video, no problem. You're applying general fatawa on specific situations, no problem. All, all the kuffar without restrictions are the enemies of Allah, no problem. This waraka, I want you to come on your channel with your voice, say, I, Nasar Hanbali, believe that waraka bin Nafil is the enemy of Allah and I also believe that the Messenger of Allah sent the Muslims underneath the protection of the enemy of Allah, Najashi, to the first through the first hijrah. And I believe that Shaykh Uthaymin Rahimahullah meant this when he said all the kuffar, without exception, are the enemies of Allah. Make a one minute, two minute video, whatever. It's like this, very, very specific. And if you don't do this and you can't, I highly doubt you will, then fear Allah uh, concerning the awam.
do not weaponize the fatawa of the ulama to push your ideas. And as for you, black brothers, will lie, aib, will lie, aib. Shameful, very shameful. This is very embarrassing. You know how much our community has been infiltrated by people outside of the community telling us what to think. You know this already. And you allow all this to slide. It's a very, very terrible, bad look. And you need to talk to this guy. That's my challenge. If you can do that, I'll remove my videos. Subhanakallah bihamdik wa shadow lele ant wa sabrika wa tubi ilay. Yes. Ilami. Yes. Ilami. Yes. Ilami. Yes, I love you. Ilami. Yes. Ilami. Yes. Ilami. Yes. Ilami. Yes. Ilami. Yes, only you.